to a Michael Jackson concert? Michael Jackson was in Houston. And she was so excited about getting to see Michael Jackson. After his performance, and he's walking into his car, he would walk up to Beyonce and shake her hand. She was so amazed. I have been a fan of Michael Jackson since I was a baby. I actually got a chance to meet him when I was little. When I was like one or two. I don't remember though. And my mom said that he went out to hold me and I started crying. I can't believe I started crying. That's crazy. Oh my God. Don't get me started on Michael. <laughs> I recently got a chance to meet him. We were doing a show for him, and he was sitting on the side of the stage. And it was time for me to sing my part. But I looked to the right, and he was right there. I couldn't sing. I had to start screaming. <laughs> and I did, right on the stage. And I know the fans, because they couldn't see him. They thought I was crazy, because I was like walking up to do my part, and then I was like, ah! just right on the stage and I, I couldn't hold it like I couldn't take it you got a friend in me Ben was so beautiful it had so many different meanings it was so simple it was about you know his, his pet <laughs> you're always running here and there It's just one of those songs that, you know, people will be playing forever and ever and ever. Rock With You has to be my favorite song. He was singing a little more in his lower register, and he was sliding into the next note. Girl, close your eyes. And his vibrato was moving, and it just was sexy and just make you want to rock with Michael. <laughs> That performance, Motown 25, it just was groundbreaking. It was like Broadway. The dance routines, they were amazing. I don't know how they moved their bodies like that. And I don't know how Michael did what he did. By that point, it was like, He's from another planet. I love when he is ad-libbing at the end and he gets this whole grunt and he's like, come out! <laughs> My favorite moment was the Michael Jackson tribute. Have you seen yourself yet during I, that? I, they just told me they had a shot of me. There's, during the tribute, there's a, a, like the camera goes to you and it almost looked like you were praying. Like you, you were like spiritually connected to those kids on the stage and, and, and also during the song. I don't know if you guys remember Beyonce and she was like, and I was like, wow, what was going through your, your head? Because it almost looked like it was a spiritual outer body kind of well, thing for you. Well, I definitely felt Michael's presence mm -hmm. and you, to hear his voice, you could just imagine how it would have been if he was there. Mm -hmm. So it was really emotional for me and everyone in the crowd. Mm -hmm. And to see his children and mm -hmm. the strength and elegance yep. they have, it was just, I, I, I was praying, like, you can do it, you can get through this. And I just had so much admiration for those children. Yeah. Have and, you ever and met his him? Family. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've met him a few times, and I'm so happy I got to tell him on numerous occasions how much he impacted my life. Yeah. And I honestly will not, I would not have been any, anything that, I mean, any amount of success that I had, I wouldn't have had without Michael without Jackson. I, he's taught me so much and my family so much. Really? So, you know, I'm happy I was able to tell him what did while he, he say? was here. You know, he's very humble. Yeah. He was always very humble. You say, with love. Did yes. you see the movie, uh, This Is It? Yes, I, I learned, was in tears I learned from him, too. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, you are the, the CEO of your business. Right. I'm the CEO of mine. And we have to tell people to do things and stuff. And he would say, can you change that light? 
With, with love. love. L-O-V-E. With love. L-O-V-E. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And run the next one. It's not there. Okay, it should be. It should be. It's, it's I know, it's all for love. It's coming there. We'll get it there. I hear Michael Jackson is going to be performing. Apparently so. He's so. been very quiet today, waving out of hotel rooms to massive crowds oh, as really? well. Oh, really? He's making a scene in London, oh, as wow. he always does. Of course he is. He's playing Thriller, I believe, tomorrow is he? night uh, to kind of celebrate its 200th anniversary or however old he is. <laughs> He's been around for ages. Are you looking forward to seeing sort of him back in action, really? It's Everyone is. Everyone is. I mean, he, he's the reason a lot of us perform. So I'm, you know, I'm the biggest fan and I can't wait to see him perform and can't wait to, to sit in the audience and I can't wait to perform. This is going to be a magical night. If it wasn't for Michael Jackson, I would never have ever performed. He's made such an impact on my life and every performer's life. Michael Jackson, I love you. We all love you. I want you to give it up. How you doing? Well, good. I really appreciate you doing this because we're giving back. I'm very honored. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yes. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Many children will have to cry before we all take a stand. to be here tonight to introduce a music icon. As a little girl grew into his music, I, like millions around the world, tried to him mimic his unique and thrilling singing and dancing. <laughs> He's still doing it. But today what I'm trying to mimic is his passion for helping others. It is an example for all of us. He believes we can really change the world. And he's doing it. He still remains the biggest selling recording artist in the history of music. The king of pop. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome artist and humanitarian Michael Jackson. Thank you for your love. Your support, all that you've done. I am very honored to be here tonight. This time, the time has come for the sequel to We Are The World. Thank you to Radio Music Awards for giving us this opportunity to bring it to the world. I hope once again we can set out on a mission to lead the world on a path of harmony, by asking ourselves every day, what more can I give? Thank you, Michael Jackson, for writing such a beautiful song. What more can I give?
You've won every conceivable award, so the RMAs had to invent a new one just for you, for your selfless contributions toward making our world a better place. With people everywhere, y'all join me to present you with this honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the RMA Humanitarian Award to Michael Jackson. God bless you. I love you. Thank you very much. And thank you, Beyonce. Because I just can't